gotta I gotta ask, man. Like I saw you on Beauty and the Geek, and I had Bonzer on the night that you guys had your spot on Beauty and the Geek. Yeah. And my wife, as I've said on this show many times, my wife not a wrestler, not not a wrestling fan. Like she's yeah. she's not. Even, she sat there, watched that, and saw the 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 spot between you and one of the I think the South African guy, and he called your said your mother must be disappointed because you're a hard boiled egg, and she like. <laughs> Your facial reaction, my wife, who was like had lack of sleep, breastfeeding a baby, almost fell off the couch laughing just at your facial reaction. She's like, Who is that guy? I go, That's Mick fucking Moretti. And like, that's why he, <laughs> that, that was the golden. But how did you oh, find goodness. that whole process, man? Because it would have been so challenging having all these different matches and remembering people's names, then remembering the match that you have with each couple. Yeah. Look, the. I guess that's where experience comes into play and worked in my favor because I've got a lot of experience at remembering that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. um, that whole weekend will go down as the most fucked weekend in my entire wrestling career, which I'll, I'll kind of get to towards the end. Remind me if I forget, because I will. Um, but yeah, like we, had to, like we had to be at the factory theater at 6 a.m. to start this day. And so that they could run us through what they wanted, this and that, blah, 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 blah. And they kind of, they wanted to do the intro where they all kind of walked in. They had the ring set up. Luckily, we got to set the ring up the day before. But yeah, they had the whole, all their cast come in looking at the ring. And they're like, we want you guys to come out on stage from behind them and spook them. I'm like, perfect. This is the best thing for the rap scale. Because obviously I scared the living fuck out of them. Um, so it'd be like, come out, scare them, intimidate them, and then come to the ring and put on like a, a quick little exhibition just to kind of really instill the fear in it. I'm like, all right. So me and Osborne just had a quick little spot and they were just like, oh shit. But then, so what they did after, I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to talk about, but fuck it. The show's aired now. Who cares? Bon um, Bonzo went into detail. So. Yeah. If they sue us, then, you know, I don't own the company. Go get someone else. <laughs> You know, so if he's gone into detail, you probably have an idea. Like, we spent the whole day getting paired up with them, and then we ran through the choreography. Luckily, like, the matches were super simple. Like, we could not make it complicated at all. Each one of them got one or two things to do based on their sort of athletic prowess, if you like. Um, and we just kind of took them through the choreography each time, and, and that was it. It was really straightforward. It was easy to remember because we had, like, three things to remember for each person. I'm used to remembering 20, 30-minute matches. So this is chump change as far as remembering that shit. Um, and like, they were a bit, you know, anx anxious. So we went through it a bunch of times with them. So it was, it was all there. Um, like what, what we didn't get to plan was all the jaw jacking and that kind of stuff. And they were like, yeah, you know, like when we're practicing, we're going through stuff like, oh, we really want you guys to, you know, give it to them. And I'm like, don't worry, we will. Like you, you can't plan that shit. That just has to be there. And we did. And a, Butts me out because every time any of the nerds said anything to me, I shot them the fuck down. Like my responses destroyed them, and they didn't show any of those, did they? Well, um, Ro Ro Rose actually told me because you know, I'm, I'm good friends with Rose and Gail, and Rose he was said to say, like, "What's up?" I was just playing games with him before, as I like, give Pierce my best. <laughs> oh man, but, but he actually told me he's like, he's like, oh dude, one of the like the geeks turned around and said, "After this, you're not going to be able to work, walk." And he said that to Moretti. I'm like, oh yeah, what Moretti said. He goes, he told her, I said, once I'm done with your girl, she ain't going to be able to walk. And I was like, the whole time of that episode, I'm sitting there going, please fucking air it. Like I was sitting there, I was Bro. ready to pop for it. Fucking smashed him. 